So we are officially on our flight to go to Laos. <laughs> I mean, okay, first Singapore and then Bangkok and then Laos. And we ran into some issues with transferring, but we shall see what happens. Hello. I finally landed in Luang Prabang and <clears throat> it was a 20 hour flight overall, not including layovers, intense. Um, so I'm here at the airport. I took a couple of shots of just like what it looks like when you get out the airport, like from the plane. Um, and I want to do a quick little overview of the airport. Hey y'all, so <clears throat> I'm again just showing you the airport since I couldn't really capture the first time when I first got here. Everyone was just staring at me, um, you know, so I kind of just didn't record. But my friends kept talking in the video. We were just trying to figure things out. But I just really wanted to emphasize, like, this is what it looks like. You know, this is kind of where you would enter. Um, you also exit kind of from the same area. A little bit more here to the left, down the hall right there, is where you um, come in from the planes. And in that same corner um, out there, right there. It's where you exchange currency um, and get your taxis and it's very cheap like three US dollars <clears throat> and just a super good tip is if you're gonna bring cash with you already just be aware that you cannot have like wrinkled torn or like marked up dollar bills because they will not take them so I have been trying to change my money in every single country that I've been at and apparently they won't take old money, which I've never experienced. Um, but I guess I've always... I don't know. It's weird. But just be aware of that. And um, that is a very small airport. So just to show you. Hey guys, so I'm actually doing a hotel review for once, completely. Um, that was a little like, sharing area, patio area, where there's like free coffee, free water. Very cute, traditional little room in the city center in the Wan Prabang. And this is our room officially. Again, cute little room, a bunch of like different signs, key card. We have the, I think it's called the Triple City room, but it's two beds, so I'm not sure why it's called that. But um, this is pretty much it. I think this was like $43 a night, right? Yeah. Um, and of course we split it, so it's not too bad. And I think it's because we wanted like a bigger bed, some more local. We're only here for one night, so um, we don't want anything too crazy. Pretty simple bathroom, 
toilet sink shower traditional of course not the best view but I don't really care <laughs> So here's like a little walk up to Apple Guest House. There's a bunch of guest houses here, but it's so cute. Look at that. Oh, yes. Hey guys, so update. I did not do the almsgiving and I did not take pictures. I felt weird just because everyone was kind of like really in their faces and taking pictures, which you're not supposed to do. So don't be a bad tourist, especially if you're American. <laughs> um, and yeah, so now we're gonna head to a coffee shop, kill some time, energize, and then go eat some cow soy today, which is like this famous Lao noodle soup place. Okay, bye. Hi guys, so we finally made it to the Lao noodle shop. This is where the Roman cook, I believe, came to eat Lao cow soy. So me and my friend are having two bowls, one each because we're fat. Um, we had some coffee at Saffron Coffee House, which we have a little image of that, um, and other coffee, I believe. So we'll put that in the channel. Um, so we're excited this noodle is like vermicelli noodles with a combination of like tomato and beef, like ground beef mixed. Supposedly it's really good. So we're excited to try it. We're the first people here. I believe they open at seven. Um, and yeah. Hey everyone. So we just came back from having cow soy and the alms. Um, the cow soy was delicious, right Karen? Delicious, bomb. Yeah, it bomb. was amazing. Um, definitely recommend. We had two bowls and two drinks and it came out to four dollars in total, US dollars in total, which was a hundred thousand kip. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It was a hundred thousand kip, so we came back to the hotel, got our tickets for the train that leaves later today. Um, so we're having some, some of the complimentary tea and coffee that they provide here at Apple Guest House and just chilling a bit before we go back to the room, pack, get ready, um, and then carry on with our day. So I want to mention a few things about the train. I feel like it's very <clears throat> iffy on like prices, where to get them. You have to buy your tickets days in advance because they sell out. We bought our tickets the day before and the only available times were like 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. And there were hard seats, not the soft seats. Um, so if you care about that, I would definitely buy it way ahead of time. Um, what you could do is go and buy it there the day of in the morning or buy it like a day or two before. Um, but you would have to get there and get back on taxi. Or some hotels offer um, to buy the tickets for you. There's a lot of things I read online where a lot of hotels offer the tickets. And then when you get there, they're fake tickets. <laughs> so that's something to keep and on, 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 on. Um, tickets for train tickets are usually seven dollars per person um, but from the hotels they're thirty dollars a person because they charge you a convenience fee so that they make some type of profit off of it which is pretty insane um, but it's either convenience or you save money and since we're only here for one day we decided that convenience is more important for us um, so that's what we did coming back <clears throat> we, we're gonna try to buy a ticket today for four days from now. I don't know if that's too early um, for us to be able to buy it ahead of time, but we'll try and we'll check. Um, we're also staying in Biang Tara, which is pretty far from the train station, so we're anticipating a high cost for a taxi since it's on the city center, but we shall see. Um, yeah, other than that, that's my update. That's what we've been doing so far. This town in the morning is magical, so I would definitely just, you know, say go out, have some coffee like we did, um, and enjoy like the fog and the clarity of the morning. It's amazing. But anyways, until next time. Hi. 
Hi guys, so we are in Luangprong's railway station that was built by the Chinese. It's huge, it's massive, it's gorgeous. Hey guys, so today is Saturday the 1st, um, <clears throat> I guess today is a Lao holiday, it's like national day, it kind of seems like it's like their independence type of day, <laughs> I'm not really sure, um, I will read into it and I'll let you know. So we came to breakfast, we weren't going to do anything, but then we saw the National Museum, we're like hey, what a Kind of perfect time to kind of go to the museum considering it's a holiday the entrance fee was 30,000 kip which I believe is like a dollar fifty maybe two dollars um, US dollars and it's pretty nice in here for example quick little tour um, we're gonna go ahead and go through it I'm gonna record on my phone I don't have my GoPro with me um, since it was like not planned and um, yeah, so I'll show you the National Museum Really quick. I just wanted to emphasize that you are not allowed to wear shoes in certain areas or have bags or record <clears throat> So it was kind of like, you know sucky that that happens um, Super understand um, Makes sense, but I just couldn't go in because for several reasons, but Anyways, um, it is very pretty, it's very packed as you can see, um, but just keep that in mind. This is the beginning of the Kwangsi waterfall, um, like little hike that we did. I forgot to re record an intro to it, um, but as you can see there's bears that you could do. Um, if you turn right, right when you begin the path, that's the path that leads you to the, bear the bears, just FYI. When you get there, <clears throat> you do take a little trolley up from where you buy the tickets. Um, it becomes a little, a lot. <laughs> um, definitely do this really early in the morning. There's a lot of people. It's very beautiful as you can see. Um, we didn't get in the water, although I did put my feet in. Um, it is very slippery as well. Um, it was honestly really worth it. It was very beautiful. Um, I think people tend to also eat in certain places and you could eat outside there's like a lot of vendors before you get into like the main area where the waterfall is and then along the route to the waterfall like from the ticket area you could also get dropped off on the way back to do some like butterfly like fields and like other things so i would look into it make a whole day out of it um but it gets very packed for a good reason Hey y'all, this is um, Pussy Hill, and um, it's free, or at least no one was there to charge me, so I'm assuming it's free, I'm not sure, look into that. Um, it's a really, you know, it's a good hike. I would say, you know, I saw older people doing it, so you should be fine. Definitely didn't expect it, but it was really beautiful up there. Um, worth it, <clears throat> it's in the middle of town, so chances are your hotel's near it, at least one of the entrances. Um, one's in front of the National Museum, and the other's on the other side, like to the left, um, like more north, I guess. Yeah, but it's it's amazing.
Hey guys, so I just went through checking in and I guess immigration and customs. Behind me right here is where you go to the security. Um, <clears throat> and then it looks like this. There's like an escalator going to your gate, like through the floor, some shopping sections, little restaurant, seating area, um, and the bathroom. My friends, unfortunately, didn't get their visa ahead of time. Um, me and my other friend did. So they will, they are going to go through it and see what they could do to come with us to Vietnam. So we'll see. Hey y'all, just a little update. Unfortunately, those friends did not apply for the visa for Vietnam. So they had to fly to Thailand and meet us for the third leg of our trip. Um, they're very strict in Vietnam about visas. I'll talk about that in the next video. Um, but Laos, you could do a visa on arrival. Everything was really smooth in Laos, no issues. Um, so overall, I was in love with Laos. Um, I'm going to be creating a Van Vieng video and uh, following, followed by Vietnam. Um, Hanoi and Hoi An and you'll get that coming. Alright y'all, until next time I hope you enjoyed the video.